What's up guys, it's Ron again from Lake Acres Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now i got a brand new flashlight here from Orca Torch. This is the D710. And they graciously sent me this light to do a little bit of product testing for them. And to kind of give a review for what I think about their light and whether or not you guys should get it. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. Let's see everything that comes in the box here. I actually like this case. It's kind of a, it's not really a hard shell case. But I like the fact that the case is very well built, it's very heavy Cordoba material. Zipper seems to be in pretty good order, so yeah, I'm going to give the case a, a 10 out of 10 there. Opening on up, we can see that we have the D710, and it does come with two batteries, which I personally like. I love having one battery ready to go at any given time, uh, and that way if your battery dies, you'll actually have a spare backup battery, so I love the fact that they send two batteries. Now these are the uh, 21700s, they're not the 18650s that we're typically used to, but it does look like they have a charge port on the battery as well, and Orca Torch does send a charging cable with you, this is just a micro SD, actually I'm sorry, this is the C charger there, so that comes with it as well, so you can have one battery to go. Now you can charge this via wall charger or via say a USB connection, but there is no wall, wall charger in the pack. So you're gonna have to get one of those if you're gonna be charging it via the wall. Looks like we have a spare set of O-rings here and a lanyard as well. And then of course, we are going to have the owner's manual, the warranty card and all that. Taking a quick look at the owner's manual here, it looks like we have four different modes. We have a high mode, 1700 looms with a runtime of an hour and 40 minutes. We have a middle mode, which is 800 lumens, three hours and 50 minutes runtime. We have a low mode, which is 400 lumens, seven hours and 40 minutes. And then it says you have a turbo mode, which is 3000 lumens. Now I have done a little bit of research on this light. The turbo mode, you can't actually turn on and leave on. Basically that is a mode that when you press and hold, regardless what mode you're in, it's gonna push out that 3000. So maybe you're in the middle mode, you're running 800 lumens then if you need the 3000, you just simply press and hold while you're in that middle mode and it'll go to the 3000. As soon as you release the button, it's gonna drop back to whatever mode you're in. But yeah, let's get this batteries or these batteries charged up. We'll take it in the water and then of course I'll give you some final thoughts. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and jump into the underwater review of the Orca Torch D710. And you'll notice I did add a glove with it. This is from a previous model uh, from Orca Torch. The D710 does not come with this little glove, um, but I really like the glove and the fact that it makes it pretty much hands-free. But we're gonna go ahead and start scrolling through the modes and show you the different modes here. Uh, always, it starts at the highest looms and then you scroll through to the lowest loom and then to get to your turbo mode you just simply press and hold as i'm doing here and it goes into the 3000 and one of the things i kind of wish most manufacturers would do is always start your uh, light out at the lowest loom and let you scroll up to what you need versus starting at a high loom and then scrolling down but nevertheless it still it gives you plenty of light uh, for whatever you need now we're in fairly turbid water here and it's still cutting through you can clearly see that there's two beams you got a spot beam and a flood beam there so it's lighting up a pretty decent area and then of course the middle beam there is just kind of reaching out touching something which i really like i like the fact that this light has two different beams as well now comparing it to say the d520 or uh, any other orca torch light you can see that the technology has gotten better over the years uh, since orca torch has been making dive lights um, and here i'm comparing it to another orca torch as well and you can see it's just completely outshining that light altogether and I'm just using the standard high mode here but it's a very easy and simple light to use uh, it's just on and off and you of course you have several different modes you can scroll through uh, if you need that turbo mode that 3000 looms you just simply press and hold the button uh, for example as I start to go through the little swim through here I just reach up press hold the button gives me just enough light to get through it and then of course I can release it and go back now here's a cool little clip for you uh, this is a about a 20 pound catfish underneath the stump and he just completely demolished is this light here he takes it clean out of the glove when he bit onto it uh, we do a lot of spear fishing here in the lake and a lot of catfish noodling as well and uh, this, this catfish just kind of shows you how vicious they can be he uh, ripped that flashlight directly out of the glove itself but yeah all in all i think it's a great light it's uh, very easy to use simple to use and just simply scroll through the modes as well all right guys, so here's my final thoughts on the Orca Torch D710. What is the first thing that I do not like about it? 
Um, there's no glove. There's really no attachment other than just the lanyard itself. And I'm so used to having a light on a glove. And like you saw during the video, I just took another glove from a different Orca Torch light, slid it in there, and it actually worked out very well. Now, you'll also notice that the glove that Orca Torch sends with their other lights are not really secure. And I've talked about that in the past. That little neoprene sleeve, I'm not a huge fan of. You actually are going to have to zip tie the light in. It makes it useful if you do have a twist head, but it also makes it useful in the case, say, a catfish actually steals your light, like we saw in the video as well. But as far as the functionality of the light, I actually don't mind the, the switch here. I think the switch is very useful. I actually like it better than the tail cap switch, but I don't like it quite as much as I do the twist head. But because this light has several different modes, you're going to have to either have a tail switch or a push button. And I would much prefer the push button over the tail switch. So I do like that there. Um, I really like the fact that very easily you can go through the modes if you need to and if you need that turbo mode that 3000 you just simply press and hold it's on and then when you release it goes off of that 3000 however that being said very simple operation if you're going to have a 3000 mode or a turbo mode why not just set it as a mode where i can just scroll through and leave it on without actually having to hold that so that's kind of a pain a little bit uh, I do like the fact that it goes off when you let go of it, but then again, if I'm going to have a 3000 mode because I need 3000 lumens, then of course I want it to be able to stay on as well. But other than that, it's a very well constructed light. It's not that heavy even with the batteries in it. Speaking of the batteries, that's the second thing I really love about this light. It comes with two batteries. I enjoy the fact that if I'm running the light, my battery goes dead, I can very simply take the battery out, have another one on charge at any given time or have it pre-charged. So I really do like that. Um, I've not tested these batteries out in a standard battery charger from Orca Torch or any other lot that uses uh, a similar battery. I would assume that you could still charge it the same way versus just having to plug it in, which is going to make it useful if you've got a whole series of Orca Torches, you just plug it into the charger and go. But if you're just on vacation somewhere, maybe you got your laptop with you, being able to plug straight into your laptop makes it very versatile as well. So what would I give this light? Even with a couple of flaws, such as the 3000 not staying on, it didn't come with a glove, I'm still gonna give this light an eight out of 10. I think it's a very useful light. It's very small, compact. It's gonna be a great primary light and a backup light as well. So yeah, I definitely like this light. Now, if you're interested in purchasing this light for yourself, there will be a link below. Simply click on that link. You can purchase the light for yourself. I think it would be a great accessory item if you're using it as a backup light. It's very small, like I said, great primary, great primary as well, or backup light. Very simply, you could tie on a bolt snap, put it in a glove, whatever option you want there. I'm not, and I've never really been a big fan of the lanyards, but it's a great security device as well. But that's it, that's my review of the D710. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up, definitely share it as well. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always guys, we appreciate your business.